Are you recording? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, I'm Jeff, the founder of Worldwide Cyclery, and we're out here on the trail today checking out the One Up Components handlebar and stem and comparing it back to back with some other bars. I'm going to talk all about handlebar stiffness and vertical compliance and lateral stiffness. Well, if you're not familiar with 1UP Components, they've been around for a little while now and they are a company full of complete and utter bike nerds and total engineers. Um, a lot of them are at former big brands like Raceface and stuff and those guys have come to the market and are actually doing stuff that I think is really cool for the bike industry. They're trying to make just absolute kick-ass mountain bike components that are not only way better and one up everyone else out there, but also price point. Everything they come out with is actually significantly cheaper and more affordable than a lot of the other brands out there. So they're just making premium level product at price points that are just way more competitive. Uh, their dropper post is probably the most notable one that they've done so far. We have a whole video on that, so check that out. But today we're gonna talk about their handlebars. So what they wanted to do with handlebars, of course, they're not just gonna produce a me too product, you know, as in like me, you know, we're making it as well. Um, they're always coming out with something that's unique and different and what they've done with handlebars is they've really just again These guys are the biggest engineers and bike nerds out there Get those nerds! Nerd! Nerd! They've looked at sort of the best things about 318 handlebars Meaning that vertical compliance that little bit of up and down flex that you get to make the bar just feel good And not fatigue your hands and your whole upper body too much especially on like long terrain and just big rough descents and everything but a 35 bar that has that uh, lateral stiffness, right? That sort of steering precision that you want out of a handlebar. They're looking for best of both worlds and they've custom designed a carbon handlebar with this really unique oval shape that comes right out of the stem. And the whole idea there was to just get this thing to be the perfect handlebar in terms of stiffness and, uh, and compliance, right? Because you want compliance one way and stiffness the other way. Um, aluminum bars, you can't quite manufacture it as much. Carbon, you can kind of play around with the layup but these guys have not only played around with the layup but just the overall design of the handlebar uh, so super impressive what they're doing and again this is a super lightweight full carbon handlebar 138 bucks so they're hitting price points crazy right there for a full carbon bar um, that's amazing they make a killer stem as well that you don't even need to use a, uh, a star nut and a normal top cap with so you can use their EDC tool um, that's that's another awesome thing but we're gonna focus on the bar mostly I've been riding this thing and riding basically the same bike setup for about 300 miles now because I really wanted to try and best I could get the feel. So a lot of when you're talking about compliance and handlebars does have to do a little bit with the feel. How does it feel to you? How are you getting fatigued? And is it a, is it a problem that you know is really worth addressing for you? So it's definitely an issue, right? I mean, there's guys like Rev Grips out there making grips that have suspension in them. Um, Spank is out there making vibra cords and aluminum bar stuffed with foam to sort of reduce vibration. And one ups doing this so obviously a handlebar that has the, just the right amount of stiffness and compliance to it there's a market for it people are demanding it it's an interesting thing um, one up did so they want to disclose that it's their own internal testing it's not third-party accredited but I trust those dudes um, they did a really cool test where they basically put on a graph and they tested these handlebars vertically and laterally against a lot of the other competitors and you can see that graph right here That graph pretty much shows you where their handlebars fall in terms of testing on that vertical compliance and lateral stiffness. I've said those words a million times by now. Oh, that's too much, man. Um, so let's actually see what they mean on the trail. Again, a lot of this does boil back down to feel. Um, and it's, again, it's something where if you're looking for a high-end carbon handlebar, not only is theirs in a killer price point, but they are addressing the issue of fatigue and stiffness in a really unique way that no one's really done before at all. Uh, I've been riding this Rebel Rascal. I've got several hundred miles on it. Same exact setup, suspension, tires, everything. And I've, been, I've swapped out bars a couple times today. I'm gonna do some back-to-back -back testing with some of the biggest name brands out there and really just kind of put it to the test on the trail and see if I can notice anything tangible in those like high speed rough sections um, and just see you know what it really feels like to swap bars back to back on the same section of rough trail and how these things perform so let's go do it. So hitting this climb right now 
in descent with the one up bar and stem. Climbing and yanking on the bars is kind of where you actually want that lateral stiffness. Whereas the descending is where you want that vertical compliance. All right, so swapping off the one of components bars now. I've got, I think over 100 miles on these things now, so I got a really good feel of these bars, and now I'm just doing sort of back to back on the exact same sections of trail, swapping out the bars. So one up bars, right to Renthal, these are the stiffest and surprisingly that was a way bigger change than I thought. I've been riding the one up bars now for a long time. Um, so on the exact same setup to just swap the bars and stem, especially back to back within you know three minutes, wildly stiffer. It's hard to say if that's a bad thing, uh, definitely has a different feel to it. And I can see how that would make you way more tired and maybe cause hand pain on longer rides. Um, but I don't know, is it bad, is it worse? I don't know, I'll just keep testing bars and see what I think. These things feel stiff already. It's like the rentals. Definitely notice it climbing. And also, I kind of like it. When you yank up on the bars in like a technical climb, the bar just has no flex, which feels really good. It feels like you're transferring your energy super well. So I'd say climbing XC bike, super stiff bar would be kind of ideal, unless you were doing long downhills on that same bike and destroying your hands because of those stiff bars. So that was the race face next to R35s. Um, very similar to the Renthals and just being super stiff, slightly different feel in the Renthal, uh, but both of them were just wildly more stiff than the one-up bars. And frankly, I'm stoked we did this because I, I, I didn't realize how much I would notice this difference, but it's quite noticeable. Last set of bars we are testing are the Truvative Descendant 35 mil carbon bars. Seeing where these fall in line of stiffness. These ones weren't on the graph that one up put together of testing. Um, so I don't know. See if I can tell how they feel in this back to back little thing we got going. Well, I've been out here spending the better part of a day swapping handlebars back and forth and trying to see if I could get a feeling. And 
Honestly, I'm really surprised. I did not think I would notice that much of a difference in handlebar stiffness. I thought it would be one of those things that was almost like placebo effect, like, ah, oh, is this stiffer? I'm not really sure, but no, there's an immediate difference. Spending a lot of time on the one-up bars then going right to the Renthal Fat Bar 35s, which are um, the stiffest by one-ups testing and kind of just by reputation too. There's an immediate and obvious difference in how stiff those things are compared to the one-up bars. Um, the next R35 uh, by Race Face felt just about the same. The Descendants are kind of in the middle, honestly. They definitely don't feel as stiff as the Race Face or the Renthal bars, um, but they're certainly not as compliant um, as the one-up bars. So I was totally impressed with this. And I think running some fast rocky sections and then shortly after that, there's like a little three foot drop and I was purposely just kind of hucking it to flat and landing with all my weight on the bars just to sort of see the feel there. Um, there's an absolute difference and it's, it's super cool to sort of see that. It's certainly a problem that you know is out there. That's why other people have been trying to address it and One Ups come out with a product to address it as well. Um, I definitely like it. I'm, I'm really surprised. I've personally never had any really bad sort of you know hand or arm pain unless I'm at Whistler and just blasting braking bumps all day. Um, that's where I could see something like the One Up Bar just being absolutely incredible, especially if you're doing drops or just ledgy riding. Because even that drop that I was hitting and landing the flat and sort of the G out areas, there's just it's just way more forgiving on your upper body. Um, where I didn't like it uh, was actually like really technical climbing. So when I was yanking up and down on the bars out of the saddle climbing rocks, you could tell it had more flex there uh, compared to like, you know, the other bars out here. And I felt like I had more energy transfer. The rentals were super stiff. So when I was just yanking up on that bar out of the saddle climbing, I actually really liked that stiffness. So it made me kind of think maybe on an XC bike where you're just, your focus is efficiency and climbing, and not necessarily, you know, downhill smoothness, a really stiff bar would make sense. But on something like, you know, a trail enduro or especially a downhill bike where you're riding in more rough terrain, especially for like longer periods of time, like a three day bike trip, or you're trying to do, you know, 50 miles in a weekend, that kind of thing. That's where those one-up bars are really gonna shine. So I'm wildly impressed. Um, I think I have been with everything one-ups come out with. They're always just coming out with cool, unique stuff that's addressing problems and coming at price points that are definitely competitive with everything else. And yeah, let us know what you guys think down in the comments of all this stuff and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one.